CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, thank you for being here. We begin tonight in the courts where a Campbell River man has been found not criminally responsible for the murder of his seven-year-old son. One night in July of 2011, Brent Warren heard voices in his head. Voices that told him to kill his son Jonathan. Doctors say that Warren loved his young son, but he was mentally ill. And he believed that stabbing Jonathan to death was the right thing to do. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. For the first time since their seven-year-old Jonathan was murdered, his family breaks their silence. Um, there's no winners in this case. There's uh, no closure for us either. On July 27, 2011, Jonathan's mother woke up to her son's screams. His father, 44-year-old Brent Warren, had taken a kitchen knife and used it to stab his son 27 times. The boy died on the way to hospital. He didn't believe what he did was morally wrong. He knew it was legally wrong, but he didn't believe it was morally wrong. Doctors knew Warren was mentally ill. In 2000, Jonathan's father was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, but in the weeks leading up to the murder, Warren stopped taking his medication. He believes that he's being given medication to stifle his own views. Without the meds, Warren transformed from a loving, caring man who lawyers said had never laid a finger on his wife or son into a murderer. Warren spent the day in the prisoner's box listening to evidence, most of which focused on the final moments before the murder. The court heard how Warren struggled with voices telling him to kill his son, that by murdering his seven-year-old, that Jonathan's body would be offered up as a sacrifice that would one day make the world perfect. And throughout all the submissions, Warren sat repeatedly nodding his head, presumably agreeing with the lawyer's accounts. I believe that uh, he's a very unwell man. For the past few months, Warren has received treatment at a psychiatric hospital on the mainland. Today, a judge decided the facility is where he'll stay, ruling Warren was unable to appreciate the impact of what he was doing to his son. His family says they want him hospitalized, away from the public, and for now, that's what will happen. How will Oprah find closure soon? It's unclear how long Warren will stay in hospital. Lawyers say at least a year, but it could be a lifetime. CTV's Joe Perkins joins us now live with more. Joe, so what's next for Warren? Hudson, within the next 45 days, the province's review board will take over the case and begin their assessment of Warren. While in hospital, he will undergo a review every year, and that could be bumped up to every three years if the Harper government passes new legislation. I can tell you, though, Hudson, that the defense lawyer told us today he did not think Warren would ever be released into the public. All right. Joe Perkins, thank you. You're welcome.